Today I'm going to show you how to get a second crop of zucchinis from the same plant. Okay, this is Cheryl, juicing gardener, out in the garden, just catching my breath after piling, uh, cutting a ton of zucchini leaves off. Now, I know this little trick because I, I did it last year. Let me show you my zucchini bed. Let's see if I can get back far enough here. This is a five foot round fabric bed by Smart Pots. I forget what it's called, big, big raised bed. You can see it's about uh, 14 inches tall. And I grew all my zucchini in here, not with the buckets. And this entire bed was like a four foot tall jungle of giant zucchini leaves. It was actually so big that the, <laughs> the bees couldn't find the little blossoms to pollinate. I didn't get quite as many this year. But what I did last year is I cut all the leaves back and that's what I've just done right now. And I also had powdery mildew. If you haven't seen powdery mildew, that's what it looks like. That one I haven't done yet. So all my leaves were getting powdery mildew and they were getting dis different, different diseases and dying and curling up. But it's mid-August 2014. I absolutely will get a whole second crop of zucchini because of what I did today. This is what I want to encourage you to do. I went in there in my jungle and cut off all the leaves except the few green ones that don't appear to have powdery mildew. Now, of course, you can't get rid of all of it. The stems have it. It's all around the ground. It's everywhere. But this was a huge plant, and you can see, like this leaf right here has a little powdery mildew. I probably cut that one off. But I still, you need to leave some leaves on because of photosynthesis in the sun. You need to have something to, to grow the plant. So don't cut all the leaves off. Like here's another one. I saved a couple ones and I've got some good blossoms. And I found a couple zucchinis that I didn't even know I had. This one here. The critters have been eating on it, so I don't, I'll probably only get half of it. And um, another little beauty right down in there. So I didn't even know I had them. And then sometimes it was so big I couldn't even see this pot. Oh my gosh, giant spider. You can't believe the size of the spiders out in the garden. Um, and I didn't even see this pot had a long zucchini and look, some critter's been coming in every day and helping himself to it. Um, even though we're totally fenced in, they still get in. So it just, the, the garden is breathing a sigh of relief right now. I cut that one back and that's the last one right there. Um, it's going to give more room for all my pepper plants to breathe. It was just getting crazy, like this whole area was just giant uh, powdery mildew leaves with some zucchinis underneath. So. I am really pleased with the outcome. I'm glad to see that there's still some good growth. Let me show you here. See how there's some nice, fresh, new green leaves? That's what's going to happen. See some down in there? In the next few days, I'm going to be bursting with green leaves. And then the zucchini blossoms are going to come out, and we're going to get new zucchinis. I had it last year. I think I got new, brand new zucchinis in October. And, in, and we're just about ready for snow in October. And this is zone five in Ohio. So anyway, here's the mountain of leaves that I have to get bagged up right away because they're covered with powdery mildew. And I think um, it's kind of spreading. I, I'm not sure whether it totally spreads the same way to my cucumber bed or if it, because it, it's got some disease as well. I don't know if that's just how powdery mildew looks on cucumbers or if it's got something different. But you don't want to compost this because this is diseased... Uh, leaves. So get it all in a bag, trash bag, tie it up and get it out in your trash. So here's the last view. That's a happy bed. Oh, and one more thing. You're going to think I'm crazy for telling you this, but I've got to take care of you. New gardeners, be careful with your clippers because you're reaching back in there in the blind and you're holding the leaf. It happened to me quite a few times. I'm holding the leaf and cutting at the same time and I can't see what I'm doing. You can cut your fingers. And that is severe. I mean, these are major clippers. It's probably because I'm a chiropractor and I have finger consciousness. Probably I will for the rest of my life. But you reach back in there. Make sure you see what you're clipping. Don't just reach in and think you've got that, um, that stem or that vine and just, you know, blindly. Because you can get really close. To, I've gotten really close to my fingers a couple of times. And I've just, my heart's been beating like, oh my gosh. So I make sure I pull the leaf I'm going to cut, clear the viewpoint, and then cut it. So just had to give you that little tip because our fingers are so important as gardeners and as human beings. I don't want you to make any mistakes. So um, enjoy your zucchini garden. Get a second uh, breather, um, a second round. And I will see you on the next video. Oh, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the antics of my garden and see all the great cantaloupes and watermelons I have coming up and all the cucumbers and we got great videos for you great stuff in the kitchen and in the garden happening so love to see your comments is this what you do with your zucchini do you get a second run if you have any tips on how you deal with the powdery mildew and you know clipping back um there's that giant spider again oh, I'm gonna have nightmares see how big that is um anyway 
uh, go down in the comment section and let me know if you have any tips on how to get the most out of your zucchini plants. Okay, this is Cheryl signing off. See you on the next video. Bye.